We're going to do the automatic transmission fluid, and for this job, I'm going to need my 3 8 uh, inch uh, socket ratchet, a cheater bar, an 18 millimeter aluminum crush washer, three to four bottles of Honda ATFZ1 automatic transmission fluid, uh, a drain pan, and uh, usually uh, it'd be nice to have a long stem funnel, but because I don't have one of those, I'm going to use a combination of a old turkey baster and a bag with a plastic tube on it. So we're going to start by we're going to start by locating the automatic transmission dipstick which is located behind the battery. The dipstick is that yellow handle that you can see down there and we're going to remove that. So here's view of the automatic transmission drain bolt which is uh, to the driver's side underneath the car. Let me magnify up on that drain bolt right there and back out. So I've actually loosened that automatic transmission drain bolt with my 3 8 inch ratchet and the white cheater bar that I had. Next is loosening the drain bolt by hand, making sure that my drain pan is underneath now. and uh, we can see that the transmission bolt here has some junk on it which I'm going to wipe off with just a uh, paper towel. And we're going to remove that crush washer and replace it with a new one. I forgot to show you one piece of equipment and that is my uh, torque wrench which uh, will be set at 36 foot-pounds for putting the drain bolt back in. So now we're going to reinstall the drain bolt. We'll use the torque wrench here again to tighten this down to 36 foot pounds.
And next I'm going to take my bag filled with my transmission fluid. Of course, if you had a long funnel, that would uh, substitute very well. I'm going to put the end of this tube into that uh, tip of the turkey baster. And that's going to serve as my effective funnel. So now that I've got about uh, three quarts of the transmission fluid in, I'm going to take out my uh, turkey baster and tubing combination and uh, check the transmission fluid level. By the looks of it, I'm just on the bottom end of the dipstick, so I'm going to finish off that third quart. So it actually took about uh, three and a half quarts to fill the uh, transmission fluid up to the dipstick uh, level. And uh, now I'm back inside the car. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the transmission uh, through each of its gears, um, making sure all my brakes are on, parking brake and everything.